Scottoosh! Welcome back to the channel. I'm Joey Moss with Bad Boy Gaming. Thank you for tuning back in. Uh, if you want to help support the channel for absolutely free, just hit the subscribe button. That's all you got to do. Very simple. Wizards of the Coast has announced some huge things, okay? Some really huge things today. Uh, things we've all been waiting for. And without me just sitting here babbling too much in front of you, uh, just a heads up, there's like three huge things that they're doing new here. So you're going to want to stay tuned throughout the entirety of the video. Let's find out what those three huge things are. It's going to be huge. Oh, hooray! They announced something new today. This is something we've all been waiting for. I've been waiting a very long time for this. I'm sure a lot of you have been waiting a long time for this. But with Magic the Gathering Arena, they there was a big flaw. And their big flaw was that they they weren't allowing people to play with their friends. I'm floating. They weren't allowing people to play with friends. And that, I think, that's what Magic the Gathering is all about, is being able to play with your friends. Uh... I, I, I don't have any friends. I really don't. But I have a lot of friends because you're all my friends. So this means that now I can whoop your guys' butt. You can challenge me. I can challenge you. I know this sounds crazy. Patrons first. Patrons first. But it's going to be a lot of fun. This means I can go over and slap around Merchant if I wanted to. You know, hey, Merchant, you want to get your butt kicked? He's like, sure, Joe. I'd love to get my butt kicked by you. And we can go at it in duel. You know, it's going to be a great time. This means I can go beat up Desi. You know, no problem. Just give him a couple little punches, you know. Bow, bow, bow. And he's done and he loses. You know, I can whoop I can whoop his butt. The ends, there's no ends to this. This is going to be a lot of fun. And I think it's going to uh, it's gonna create a lot of fun interactions between content creators like myself and others out there who stream this or play this, uh, play Magic the Gathering Arena. And if you're not al already in Magic the Gathering Arena, I'm just going to say this right now. You are behind the curve. You are a little bit, you know, the curve's up here, okay? And you're like right here right now. So you need to figure out whatever it is you need to figure out to get onto Magic the Gathering Arena. A few things that you want to know about Magic the Gathering Arena you guys should know. Um, it's not on iOS devices. It's not on handheld devices. That's a big flaw right now. And I hope they end up putting, I don't know, millions of dollars into that and fix the dang problem because that's really stupid. Um, you're, you're, you're blocking out a large chunk of your, of, of potential players, which is really stupid, honestly, of, of Watsy. So hopefully they can, they can fix that, you know? Um, but yeah, they have announced it. It's official. You'll be able to play with friends soon. How soon? Of course, they're not going to tell us that. They said within the next two releases. I'm not sure if they mean the next two updates or if they mean the next two uh, booster box releases, the next two set releases. You know, uh, I'm kind of more geared towards that way. But this is something they need to get going a lot faster than that. If this is going to take almost six months to eight months to get accomplished, uh, there are some issues there, and I don't think that's the best route to go. I think they really need to uh, kick into high gear and get that working because, you know, my, I, I, have, I don't even know how many people have asked me, Mr. Moss, could I play you? Mr. Moss, can you play friends? Can you verse people on there? No, little Bill, you can't right now because Watsy decided not to go that route which makes absolutely no sense and it's terrible, you know. What if your friends over in the military, you both love magic, you know, he 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 has to split. Well, guess what? Now, Bill, you can play your buddy in the military and kick his butt overseas. It's all good, man. It's all good. Which is really really neat. And I'm excited for this. So, this is going to be happening, I'm assuming within the next 6 months. Uh I don't know. I don't know why they're so delayed. Why why they take so much time to do what they do here. Uh but Wizards of the Coast definitely it is a little slow on a lot of things, you know. Uh, but this is one thing they're finally catching up to. And there's something else um, with Wizards, Wizard Creators, or I don't know what they're calling it. Um, what is it? Uh, Magic the Gap. What is it? Maybe I should just find it for you guys. Where is it? Wizards announces we will be able to... Okay, where is it? Uh, are we going to be able to play... Okay, yeah, that's that. Okay, the streamer thing. This looks really cool. I think this is really, really neat. This is um, uh, kind of old news. I mean, it came out a few hours ago, so it's a little old. Uh, but it does say here. Um, I, I don't want to show it because then, you know, I'll have issues with uh, what's going on here. But essentially, uh, the past month of open beta has seen an incredible amount of creator content, having fun, teaching, competing, and brewing in Magic the Gathering Arena. Seriously, thank you. 
we want to promote our creators in new ways and celebrate them among the players and we want to do that in a unique way to accomplish just that i'm excited to announce the start of custom events built around creators in the community stream streamer events this has nothing to do with me because they don't they don't acknowledge me or recognize me that's fine each month we will hand select a few creators in the community and invite them to work with us on a streamer event we will build a customized uh, event around their personality and play style we'll then make the events available in game for a weekend we'll also promote the creators in game and give players reasons to want to get to know them better uh when is this new initiative starting tomorrow with nine days insta ban and gabby's greedy dominaria draft there are plenty more amazing creators on deck. Yeah, could we, could we mix it up? I've only heard about these two over and over again. But yeah, this is really cool. It's really unique. Uh, how can a creator be a part of this? There is no formal application process to be considered for streamer events. Our goal is to invite a mix of creators and rising stars in whom we see potential. Every month we will try to... I think because maybe I'm not on Twitch so much that they don't really have me on there. Um, I think you have to... Do you have to be on Twitch all the time? I don't know. I've already, I, I sent them a message, like an application, not really an application, but they lie about that. Um, that's a bold lie. They say you don't got to apply. No, you do. I had to apply for it. A hundred percent. You had to apply. Um, there's no formal application. There is, there, there definitely is. There is a formal application process you have to go through. Uh, they said they get back to me within two to four weeks. <clears throat> I applied for that three weeks ago, maybe. I haven't heard back from them. I really don't anticipate hearing back from them. I've never been sponsored by anyone, and no one's ever put me on, so I don't really care about that. Yeah, I'm a little butt sore. Leave me alone. Uh, but it's okay. You guys are my fans. You guys are what keeps this channel going. You guys are the reason I, I do what I do, and uh, you guys support this channel simply just by subscribing. Um, that, that's enough for me. So, yeah, bada bang. A lot of cool things. But one of the things, like, Nine Days is really neat. Um, he's going to have this, like, Instaban thing uh, where... You can't use instance in the game at all. That's insane. That's really cool. I mean, I'm, I'd love to play in that. That'll be fun. I guess we can start playing that tomorrow. Um, but that's going to make uh, decks like Stompy just all the more better. I mean, you're going to want to play nothing but big, bad, bad butt creatures, you know. And I think that's going to open the door for a lot of different kind of style of decks. I would love to see gameplay like that constantly. That's, that's a really good idea. Uh, props to Day9 on that one. That's really cool. Um, Gabby's greedy dominaria draft. I don't know what that's about. Um, I really don't know what that's about at all. Let's see. Can we learn about Gabby's greedy? What does it mean? We're giving draft new house rules with Gabby Sparks on Twitch. You gotta be, you gotta be on Twitch. They want you on Twitch. Uh, Gabby loves drafting and building ambitious decks. Uh, so together we are running a greedy dominaria draft. Draft three packs of dominaria around a few unique rules, and it doesn't really say anything. Okay, here we go. Play two lands per turn. Wow. No maximum hand size, and start with nine cards. Wow. That's uh, that's pretty big. Um, what's this one do? It just says new people coming on board. That's cool. I think they want me on Twitch to be a part of this stuff, but I don't think I'm going to go on Twitch anytime soon. Uh, maybe I will. Who knows? What do you guys think? Thoughts? Leave them. Let's hear them. Uh, are you excited for the friend thing? I think I'm excited for the friend thing. Um, that's going to that's gonna make things a lot more interesting, for sure. All right, I had to edit this because I wanted to come back in and address something because it was mentioned in this clip. If anyone has Twitter, I mean, all you got to do is go to MTG Arena, uh, MTG underscore Arena, to find out this kind of information. You could watch this video. I just didn't want to play it um, for copyright reasons and whatnot. We've already had fun dabbling with that. But this young gentleman, I'm assuming uh, he works for uh, Wizard of the Coast on the uh, designer or creator team uh, for Magic the Gathering Arena. It's basically how it's coming across here. Uh, what he has announced is that they are going to be introducing better means for people to communicate directly without using third party. Um, you know, interfaces like you won't have to text your friend or you won't have to go on a messenger outside of Magic the Gathering Arena. You won't have to call someone, you know, in order to communicate. They're going to include or incorporate some kind of chat system, which I think that should exist forever ago. I mean, that, that should have been one of the main things, you know. 
uh, why they decided to slowly go about implementing things and why they didn't just do it from the very beginning. Um, I don't understand that. I mean, because they've been getting questioned about, well, why is there not a friend feature? Why can't I play a friend? I mean, that's the number one thing. When, you, when you're like, hey, I think I'm going to go play Magic, to ga- Magic the Gathering and you have your, you know, your cards, you're not like, let me just go find a random stranger to play with. You know, like you're like, I'm going to meet up with some friends here. So uh, I think that was number one and looks like they already addressed it. So hats off to them for addressing that beautifully. Uh, a little late, but I, I'm glad it's being done, period. Thank you. Very, very awesome. Very exciting to hear that. And also, um, with down the road, it seems like within a year's time, which I believe is just way too far. I think that's way too long, way too lengthy. Um, it seems like they're going to be adding like some kind of profiles uh, or other means to communicate. I'm assuming a chat feature, you know, which would be really cool. Kind of like how they have on uh, Magic the Gathering Online, which... MTGO, I mean, that, it seems like everything Wizards does is kind of like behind the times and outdated. I'd like to see them just for once be that cutting edge that, you know, like, we're going to revolutionize the, the, the trading card game world, you know, like something like that. Maybe I'm asking too much. Am I asking too much or am I asking too little? I don't know. Uh, I want to hear your guys' thoughts and opinions on this. If you're not already playing Magic the Gathering Arena, I highly encourage you to become a part of it. It's a really, really fun community. Can't even say community yet, but it's going to be a community pretty darn soon. Uh, And uh, I hope you guys are all there to experience it. Um, If not from start to finish, at least get in there now. Uh, All right, it's going to be a lot of fun. And uh, I hope to see you out in the battlefield one day soon. All right. Make sure you punch that like button. If you're not subscribed, by all means, please subscribe. Free way to support the channel. And it does mean a lot. As always, guys, PLA. Skadoosh! Welcome back to the channel. I do appreciate you guys tuning back in. Quick way, to, if you want to... Uh, thank you for tuning back into the channel. I am Skadoosh... I'm a Skadoosh bag. I'm a, I'm a Skadoosh bag. Welcome back, Joey Moss, Bad Bug Gaming. Thank you for tuning in, my skadoosh bags. We have a lot to discuss today. I'm going to dive into one of the big ones in the beginning of this video, but there is a lot of topics that take poke up. Skadoosh! Welcome back to the channel, my ninjas. I'm Joey Moss with BBG. That just sounds stupid. Damn it, it sounds stupid as hell. 